Hello, this is Loopline. In this video, I want to cover the free Scrapebox link checker. If you own Scrapebox, then there's already a link checker integrated in Scrapebox, and that is simply right here under check links. And then you can also install the add-on for the link checker as well, which really changes the way the link checker works, gives you some error checking and that sort of thing. So it lets you check for errors uh, and it's more efficient. And um, you basically just go here to the add-ons and link checker and install it. If you don't own Scrapebox, you can use the free Scrapebox link checker or should you have a problem with Scrapebox and you want to do some independent troubleshooting, uh, it is a standalone program. So it's just scrapebox.com forward slash free link checker or you can just search Scrapebox free link checker and it's going to be the first thing that comes up in Google. And so when you come here, you can scroll down and we have the download cost $5,000 with $4,999.99, but they're going to give it to you for free, which is great. Download it. I went ahead and downloaded it and unzipped it to a folder on my desktop. And it comes with uh, two different things, two different programs and sample files. So sample your sites and your backlinks. So your sites is your website you've built links to and your backlinks is all the sites like Twitter and Facebook and Joe Schmo's blog and whatever that link to your site. Pretty easy. Um, there is the Scrapebox link checker that is the newest one. You can see copyright 2012 and then they have the older one. Uh, they're basically the same concept. The newer one is more efficient, uh, but they include the older one as well. So let's look at the older one for just a minute and then we'll look at the newer one. Uh, this is the copyright 2009 one. Um, you load your sites here. So we're just going to load up our sites, which is under, let me get there. Here, your sites, your backlinks, load those up. Um, I'm going to set it a little more conservative, 10 threads. If you want to check domain only, you can. That means if I have my website, for instance, that I am, am working with here is widgets-red-green-blue.com forward slash 324. So this 324 would be like an inner page. If I wanted to check for any link that linked to my domain itself, and it would be just checking for links to this domain or any page on that domain, it could be this 324 page or it could be anything else, then I can go ahead and check off the check domains list. Otherwise, um, this is if you leave it unchecked, it's going to check for the exact URL. And I'm going to go ahead and hit start, and you can see it's going through here. Um, shows found, shows errors on pages that have error, uh, and that sort of thing. So it's just going through there, and it'll do link checks, which is great. And then I'm just going to go ahead and abort it here because we have a, what we need there. We have the remove option to remove entries marked as found or not found. And we also have an export option, which gives us a couple of exports to not found entries and found entries. A link to Scrapebox, which will take you to scrapebox.com. And it will also give you the option to exit out of here. Pretty basic. Tells you how many links were found, total entries. Uh, and I aborted it before it all got done, but 26 found there, uh, 48 out of 70 list status, that sort of thing. So that's pretty basic. We can look at the newer one as well, which is the same concept. You load your sites up here, and you can either load from a file or you can type in a URL, which is kind of handy. So I could just type in my URL if I want. I'm going to go ahead and load it from a file, which would be here. So I just load up my sites and then my blogs as well, which is backlinks and blogs are the same thing. Uh, again, I have the check domain option, thread number. This one offers maximum size. So if you want to set a size limit for the link checker to not go over to help save bandwidth, that sort of thing, you can set these. These are actual bytes. So 4096 would basically be four megabytes of page size, which is pretty common. Most pages are going to be less than that. Um, we can leave it off for actual just check any size and again we can hit start we can see it going through here now this one is a little different in the other one you noticed that it just showed you found and not found see so I, I had my URLs here and then my found right here in this particular one it also gives us the actual link found and then the anchor text associated with it which is really nice because now we have our links and our anchors which could be used for a lot of different things and when that's done we have different options as well for export quite a lot more options actually we can export found and to a text file add all found to another text file so it like merges them together we can save not found to a text file we can add merge not found with another text file we can save all to CSV 
merge to CSV, save not found as CSV, and then save and merge again. Save all found as Excel.xls all fields. So which is kind of cool because CSV and XLS are going to give you these um, the actual link found. So you could load in a ton of your sites and a ton of different um, backlink sites, blog sites, that sort of thing, and it would track all of the internal pages for them all and then the anchor text that's found with those which is really cool uh, you could even use this creatively if you have a list of your competitors backlinks so if uh, this widgets dash red dash green dash blue happens to be a competitor site you go ahead and load in all your competitor links and then you load in you load in their site and you can even tick off the domain box at that point, which would be really handy. So we want to check out our competitors' links, and then we load in a list of their backlinks, and it's going to tell us what all of their anchor text is. So we can go through there and see, oh, these are handy anchor texts that my competitors have, and there's some keyword research for you. You just found keyword research based on your competitors. You can see the density that they use on their anchor text, uh, and all sorts of things like that. Um, Scrapebox actually has a tool, the paid version of Scrapebox has a tool for finding your competitor backlinks, um, but you could get them, you know, however. Uh, and, and there's another video I actually made on, on how to go through and use different elements in Scrapebox to find backlinks from your competitors. But anyways, um, those are options that you can do, and then we can exit, and we have a lot of information down here. So that is both versions of the free Scrapebox link checker and really it's a great tool if you're buying links from somebody else you can check to make sure that the links are actually there verify the reports make sure your anchor text is right so a lot of great options all for free from Scrapebox.